Marcus, since we had to bring you in on a Sunday, which is not your <laughs> usual schedule, we figured we'd just get you busy and just start. You had to, had to send right. out a severe weather alert. Yeah, that's true. I come back from vacation and just hit the ground running. That's how know? we roll around yeah, here. That, we did okay. that on purpose. All right. What an Testing. active season it has been. And for it to continue this long mm -hmm. into the summer is kind of odd. But yeah, you know it's been what? Strange. Yeah, we know things change. And when we get toward July and whatnot, where that water turns off, but that's going to be our concern overnight. Heavy rainfall is going to be moving through. Now, let me just give you an update once again. I have a severe thunderstorm watch that goes until 4 a.m. in the morning. This is mainly for Wood County all the way down to Cherokee points to the west and to the southwest. That's our warning that's in effect for us here at this point. Uh, Hopkins County, you were under a watch a bit earlier, but now that watch has been allowed to expire. Let's go over to the East Texas Storm Team live Doppler radar. Put this into motion for you here. This is the last 30 minutes. We have some very heavy rain ongoing just north of Interstate 20 for us right now. There are some embedded lightning strikes. Also happening within this area for us as well. But overall, the severe threat along this line does not look to be that impressive. It's mainly back to the southwest, which I'll focus a little bit more on here in just a moment. Let me come in and highlight some of the areas that we're seeing some very heavy rain from equipment approaching near Mineola along Highway 80 right now. Gilmer, heavy rain for you. Not too far from Hawkins. Lightning show, I'm sure, off into the distance as you're looking to the north. If you're back over Smith and Gray counties for us, this also continues back over toward Emory, coming back down toward Canton. If you have to travel tonight along Interstate 20 going to the west, it is going to be a very wet commute there. And pretty much all along Interstate 20, we're looking at moderate to heavier rainfall that will roll through. Jefferson, you have some rain. Gusty winds will be a concern here, along with the heavy rain expected. Maybe winds up to 30 to 50 miles an hour right now. No severe warnings that are in effect here over this area. However, I think we could see a couple of strong thunders. Thunderstorms that might try to form. It could even turn severe across parts of Van Zandt County, heading over into our western counties for us. Here's a closer look at what we're seeing on the radar where we have the ongoing thunderstorms for us here. You notice we have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings that are coming through this area right now. No new warnings in effect for us at this time, but this line overall going to continue to work its way to the south and to the southeast. So Canton seeing it now over in Henderson County. You're about to see the storms here probably in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Or so, and this will continue to spread through East Texas. So, overall, we've had the storms come through. We are looking at some additional thunderstorms to come in through the overnight. While not all of them will be severe, they will probably wake you up. So, because of that, we are going to have a live stream for you as we go through the overnight hours. You can watch that on our KETK app, the East Texas Storm Team app, over or, or over at our website at EastTexasMatters.com. We'll have that after the 10 o'clock news, and we'll be there to provide you with some additional updates off and on as. As we go through the rest of the overnight period. Here are our two main concerns for us. Heavy rain, that's going to be our biggest problem for us. Some minor flooding could be possible. Within the thunderstorms that roll through, some wind gusts. We had so much rainfall. You remember from last week where we had some spots picking up over five inches of rain? Well, we certainly cannot rule out maybe us seeing some trees coming down because of our super saturated grounds already in place. So it won't take much wind for us to have that big of a concern. Hail threat, I think, is decreasing, and the tornado threat, very low, not zero, but expected to stay low. Part of that could be due to the fact of the thunderstorms that we had come through as we went through yet, uh, this afternoon. So that kind of helped things out maybe just a little bit. Let's look at the forecast as we head toward tomorrow. We're going to be looking at at least some morning thunderstorms letting up over deep east Texas. We'll look for some afternoon sunshine. Cannot rule out a few isolated thunderstorms tomorrow. We'll see temperatures into the mid 80s, but look for a cloudy start as we head into early tomorrow morning. Let me break down the seven day forecast. What to expect for you here. So we have those early storms on Monday. A few more storms left over for us on our Tuesday, and we'll bring you down to bring it down to an isolated chance Wednesday and Thursday. It's really starting to warm back up as we go toward next week with highs back into the low 90s. A quick check of your deep east Texas forecast. You too are under that severe weather alert. Most of those storms for you will not let up till about maybe 9 or 10 a.m. at the very latest. Well, let's hope tonight's not too busy for you. We wouldn't want to work you too hard. Yeah, ho hopefully not too much, but we'll be here to keep the viewers up to date. And we're on what's thankful going on. that you will be. Today's my Friday, so I'm going to go home, but I do you have the East Texas Storm Team app, so I'll watch you if you are going to pop up on my phone. I'll go. keep that notification handy. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Uh -huh.